Welcome to the seventh video in SPSS for Beginners from RStats Institute at Missouri State University. Now in the last video, we learned how to compare means when the same sample was measured twice. In this test, we are going to measure one group, males, and then measure a second group, females, and then see if the mean for males is statistically significantly different than the mean for females. Two groups measured one time. Because each of the groups are independent of each other, we will use an independent samples t-test. Using the same data set that we created in the first video, let's look at the variables. We need two groups. The variable gender will work nicely for these groups. We have males and females. We need to measure the groups on something that can vary. We measured height and weight. So we can answer a question like, is there a significant difference in height between males and females? So let's do it. Go to Analyze, Compare Means, independent samples t-test. The first thing that we need is the variable that we measured. So we measured both height and weight. So let's get crazy and examine both variables at the same time. We will move both height and weight into the variables box. And we want to compare between groups, so we move gender into the grouping variables box. But notice that OK is still not available. We have these question marks. What else do we need to do? SPSS is telling us that it doesn't know what our coding scheme is. So we need to tell SPSS what are the two groups. Now you may ask, why do we need to tell SPSS about the groups? We only have two groups. Yes, we have two groups. But there may be times that you are using a categorical variable coded for multiple groups, like freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. But we only want to compare freshmen to seniors. So we have to be able to specify which of the groups should be compared. So click on Define Groups. For group one, we will assign one, which is males. And for group two, we will assign two for females. Now we have our two groups. Click continue and you can now see that OK is available so we are ready to run this test. Click OK. Just as before, we get one table with descriptive statistics. It tells the sample size, the mean, the standard deviation, and the standard error of the mean for each of our groups, males and females. Below that, we see the table containing the inferential statistics. We can mostly focus on this middle part of the table. We have the t-score, the degrees of freedom for our two groups, and the p-value that corresponds to that t-score at those degrees of freedom, which we use to determine if there is a significant difference or not. So I want to mention that for each t-test, there are two rows, each with different results for the test. The top row is for equal variances assumed, and the bottom row is for equal variances not assumed. Now you will learn all about what that means later. For now, it's okay to just stick with the top row. Remember that there are three ways to determine statistical significance. First, we can compare our t-value to a critical value that we look up in a table called Student's T-Table. So I did that, and for eight degrees of freedom, the critical value is 2.306. This will be the same critical value for both of these T-tests. For height, the T-value is 2.214, which is smaller than our critical value of 2.306, but the T-value for weight is 3.413, which is larger 
than our critical value of 2.306. When the t-value exceeds the critical value, then the means are different. We can also look at the probability value to see if it is smaller than 0.05. The p-value for height is 0.508, slightly larger than 0.05, but the 0.009 for weight is smaller than 0.05. And we can look at the confidence interval to see if it crosses zero. For height, the lower value is negative and the upper value is positive. So it crosses zero, not different. For weight, both values are positive. So it does not cross zero. So what do you think? Were there any significant differences for height or weight? Height was not different. But weight was different. We can check the actual means in the descriptive statistics for more clarity. Males weighed 142.8 pounds, and females weighed 123.2 on the average. So males weighed significantly more than females. But their heights were not statistically significantly different. So, you know, I've been talking about statistical significance as if it tells the whole story. But that is not actually correct. There is something else that we should calculate in addition to the p-value and the confidence interval. We should calculate the effect size. I have another video in which I go into a great deal of explanation about effect sizes and why they matter. For now, just know that an effect size is exactly what it says on the tin. It is the size of the effect, the difference between the means. Check out the RStats effect size calculator for t-tests for a spreadsheet that you can use to compute effect sizes directly from SPSS output. When you're ready to do an independent samples t-test for real, Check out these other videos from our Stats Institute that will teach you more about statistical theory, setting up your t-test, interpreting the results, and writing up your findings in APA style. Thanks for watching these videos about SPSS for beginners from our Stats Institute at Missouri State University. We have one more short video to wrap up this series. If you've liked these videos so far, be sure to subscribe and have all of our videos available for your viewing when you take your statistics course.